Luke 14. And it was, when he went into the house of one of the rulers of the Parishim on a Shabbat to eat bread, that they were watching him. And behold, there was before him a certain man that had the dropsy. And Yeshua answering spoke to the lawyers and Parishim, saying, Is it lawful to heal on the Shabbat or not? But they held their peace. And he took him and healed him, and let him go. And he said to them, Which of you shall have a donkey or an ox fallen into a well, and will not immediately draw him up on a Shabbat day? And they could not answer again to these things. And he spoke a parable to those that were bidden, when he marked how they chose out the chief seats, saying to them, When thou art bidden of any man, to a marriage feast. Recline not in the chief seat, lest perhaps a more honourable man than thou be bidden of him. And he bade thee, and he that bade thee and him shall come and say to thee, Give this man place, and then thou shalt begin with shame to take the lowest place. But when thou art bidden, Go and sit down in the lowest place, that when he hath bidden thee cometh, he may say to thee, Friend, go up higher. Then shalt thou have glory in the presence of all that recline with thee. For every one that exalteth himself shall be humbled, and he that humbleth himself shall be exalted. And he said to him also that had bidden him, When thou makest a meal or a dinner, call not thy friends nor thy brothers, nor thy kinsmen, nor rich neighbours, lest perhaps they also bid thee again, and a recompense be made to thee. But when thou makest a feast, bid the poor, the maimed, the lame, the blind, and thou shalt be blessed, because they have not wherewith to recompense thee. For thou shalt be recompensed in the resurrection of the just." And when one of them that reclined with him heard these things, he said to him, He said to him, Blessed is he that shall eat bread in the kingdom of the God. But he said to him, A certain man made a great supper, and he bade many, and he sent forth his servants at supper time to say to them that were bidden, Come, for all things are now ready. And they all with one consent began to make excuse. The first said to him, I have bought a field, and I must needs go out and see it. I pray thee, have me excused. And another said, I have bought five yoke of oxen, and I go to prove them. I pray thee, have me excused. And another said, I have married a woman, and therefore I cannot come. And the bondservant came, and told his lord these things. Then the master of the house, being angry, said to his bondservant, Go out quickly into the streets and lanes of the city, and bring in hither the poor, and maimed, and blind, and lame. And the bondservant said, Lord, what thou didst command is done, and yet there is room. And the Lord said to the bondservant, Go out into the highways and hedges, and constrain them to come in, that my house may be filled. For I say to you, that none of those men that were bidden shall taste of my supper. But there went with him great multitudes. Oh, sorry. Now there went with him great multitudes, and he turned and said to them, If any man cometh to me, and hateth not his own father and mother, and woman and children, and brothers and sisters, yea, and his own soul also, he cannot be my disciple. Whosoever doth not bear his own cross, and come after me, cannot be my disciple. For which of you desiring to build a tower, doth not first sit down and count the cost, whether he have wherewith to complete it? Lest perhaps when he hath laid a foundation and is not able to finish, all that behold begin to mock him, saying, This man began to build, and was not able to finish. Or what king as he goeth to encounter another king in war, will not sit down first and take counsel whether he is able with ten thousand to meet him that cometh against him with twenty thousand. 
or else, while the other is yet a great way off, he sendeth an embassage and asketh conditions of peace. So therefore, whosoever he be of you that renounceth not all that he hath, he cannot be my disciple. Salt therefore is good, but if even the salt have lost its flavor, wherewith shall it be seasoned? It is fit neither for the land, nor for the dunghill. Men cast it out. The one possessing ears to be hearing, let him be hearing. 